New this morning, this week the Oregon Health Authority Psilocybin Board will release research on magic mushrooms effectiveness on behavioral health conditions like depression. That's right. Oregon voters passed a measure that allowed this hallucinogenic substance uh, to be legalized in Oregon back in November. Elise Haas joins us live to bring us up to date on the timeline to bring it to people moving forward. Elise. Jenny and Ken, this year the, or, the psilocybin section of the Oregon Health Authority started its years-long process of figuring out the rules and regulations for the use of psilocybin products and services for behavioral health and mental health conditions. And so this is the overarching timeline. Oregon Health Authority has two years to figure out how psilocybin can be used in Oregon. That's everything from manufacturing, transportation, sale, purchase, and everything down the line. And the Health Authority will begin accepting licenses for its use in January of 2023, meaning people like behavioral health professionals and others can apply to be the ones to administer the product to patients with depression and mental health disorders. A manager for the program says this week they will be publicizing all of the medical, psychological, and scientific studies and research they've reviewed so far this year. We have a longstanding um, stigma against psilocybin, um, you know, based on a number of historic events. And so I think that we have to focus as an agency on the safety, efficacy, and equitable access for services. She went on to say that psilocybin has the potential to help a lot of Oregonians suffering from depression to anxiety. So the health authority really wants to make sure that this system that they ultimately create can accommodate everyone to have access to this option of treatment if it's right for them. So making sure that it's not just for the have the haves and it is for the have nots as well. So uh, moving forward, they still have over a year out to be able to create this, but at the same time, just to be clear, this is not for recreational use. This is something that will be administered and overseen and used in therapeutic settings. But Ken and Jenny, they're just really excited to be at the forefront of this in the United States. Reporting live, Lisa, Quinn 6 News. All right, thanks, Elise. And now to the coronavirus.